Hello everyone, welcome to day 1 of 7 day affirmation series. We're going to sit up in a comfortable position, any position you're comfortable in. Let's start with placing our left hand on the chest, right hand on your belly. Starting our day by setting up affirmation for ourselves. Affirmation is basically something that you see yourself doing in future, but you say it in a present tense. For example, I am strong. I am rich. I am happy. I am patient. Something like this that you see yourself achieving in future. Give it to yourself. Take your time. And once you're clear with it, gently relax your hands. Have a beautiful smile on your face and slowly open your eyes. You lock your fingers in front of you. I'm just going to change the profile so you can see me and contract your spine. Inhale, expand, take it all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, contract. So when I take it up, I look up. When I take my hands down, I get my chin to the chest. That's how I'm going to breathe. Exhale to go down. Inhale to look up. Doing it a couple of times with me. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, looking down. Inhale, up. Exhale and relax. We're going to do the same thing but with the hands on the knees. Contraction, inhale, expand and look up. Exhale, contract chin to chest. Inhale, look up. Do this at your own pace, keeping your eyes closed. Try to feel each and every vertebrae expanding and contracting. Keep going. And relax, beautiful. We're going to start by a little lateral stretch. Right hand down on the floor, left hand up to the ceiling. And stretch it to the corner, side corner of your room. Feel free to walk your right hand down ahead as much as you can. Listen to your body and see what is comfortable for you. Same thing on the other side. Slowly walking my left hand down and further away. Trying to get as much stretch as I can and I want. Do this thing slightly faster. Let's go. To the left. To the right. Yes, keep going. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale to stretch, inhale to come up. Exhale to stretch and inhale to come up. Last time and relax. From here I'm going to place my left hand on the right knee and take my hands back as much as I can keeping the spine long and giving a beautiful twist to my spine. Same thing on the left side using the right hand. Remember you are supposed to breathe in this, okay? One more time, back. Stay there, keep your spine long and with exhalation twist deeper. Other side. Beautiful. Have a beautiful smile on your face as you're doing this. Make sure you're relaxed. From your, just gently relax your shoulders, keep your palms on your shoulder heads, and just rotate your elbows, just the way you can see right here, yes. Try to meet them in the front of your chest, and let them go away as you roll back, reversing the direction. Make sure your neck is relaxed as you're doing this. Beautiful, that's it. From here, we're going to come to the all fours position, tabletop position. In this, we have both the hip and the knee in one line, wrist and the shoulder in one line. That is why it's called all fours. From here, all you're going to do is rotate your shoulders for a gentle wrist warm up. So first, we'll go all the way ahead and back. Ahead and back. Adding that circles I was talking about, rotating the shoulders clockwise direction trying to reach as ahead and back as you can reversing the direction beautiful now we're going to walk your hands as ahead as you can from there just let the chest go down on the floor just like you're doing a child's pose but your hand is still reaching ahead. Now you're going to go ahead and sink your hips down the way you can see. Try not to sink it entirely, just a little bit. You have to control it and pull it back up. Use the strength to pull you back into the child's pose. Ahead. Exhale back. 
When you go ahead, try to engage your glutes. Keep the spine strong. Reduce the range of motion if it hurts your lower back. Yes. And rest in child's pose. Get your hips to the heels. Feel free to open your knees slightly wider if that's what you find comfortable with. Observing the steady flow of the breath. Coming back to all fours, I'm going to take my right hand ahead. Keeping that same structure. If this is too much for you, just hold it there. If this is too easy, take your left leg back on the floor. Again, if this is too easy, you can lift that back leg up, which is your left leg up. Try to find the balance here. And slowly come back. Same thing on the other side. You can choose to just do the hands or keep the feet on the floor or the third option to lift both of them in the air and finding the balance there with the steady flow of breath and neck relax. Beautiful, back to all fours, trying it one more time. Choose the variation which is comfortable for you and switching sides. Beautiful. From here, I just want you to sink your pelvis down. We're gonna go and lie down on our stomach. You can feel free to rest here for two or three seconds. Just trying to relax the spine here. Trying to feel each and every vertebrate in your spine. From here, I want you to come back on your elbows. This is called a sphinx pose. From here, just try to Pull your chest as ahead as you can while you lengthen the spine and crown of the head up to the ceiling. Try to push the shoulder away from the ears. And relax. That was good. This time you can choose to continue doing the same thing, being on your elbows and staying here for next five counts. Or you can choose to go up on your palms and extend it fully for a full Bhujangasana relax back down trying for full bhujangasan you can watch it once if you're not aware about it and then you can follow me along inhale to go up and exhale to go down your shoulders are down in this process try not to let them come close to your ears glutes are gently engaged and you're not trying to go all the way up putting a pressure on the lower back go just as much as you feel comfortable with keep your elbows slightly soft don't force them to straighten and that was last relax slowly fold your hands in front of you make it like a pillow and just rest observe how you're breathing right now you can change the direction of your head if you feel like if you need a little more time to rest From here, I'm going to take my palms behind, besides my body, palms facing downwards. Just going to lift my right leg up. Try not to bend the knees, just lifting it straight up and down. This time, left leg straight up. It's okay if it doesn't come up too high, but try to keep the knees straight and lift the thighs off. Again, right, lifting up and release left lifting up and release beautiful relax your hands back in front of you making it a pillow give yourself some time to breathe right from here i'm going to get my elbows back on the floor i'm going to use my right hand to grab my right ankle bend the right knee try to push the heel to the hips Try to push your right heel to your right hip. Find that stretch happening in the quadriceps region. The top of your thigh region. That, that is the area that we are stretching right now. You don't need to push too much. Just stay at a place where you find a good amount of stretch. I'm going to change the leg. Same thing on the left leg. It's 
it's very important to relax the body as you're trying to stretch it one of the really important points and slowly release the leg from there time we're going to try doing the same thing on both the legs together at the same time trying to push it to the hips relax your legs relax your hands we're going to come back up into seated position on your knees vajrasan or any other comfortable seated position take some time to observe your breath and see what you're feeling and where you are at and take a moment to share gratitude with your body and thank your beautiful affirmation that you have set for yourself join your palms together and have a beautiful amazing day thank you